Amanita muscaria. The name alone conjures images of enchanted forests and ancient rituals. This striking mushroom, with its vibrant red cap and white spots, has captivated human imagination for centuries. From its prominent place in folklore to its use in shamanic practices, Amanita muscaria holds a unique position in our relationship with the natural world. This is not just any mushroom. It is a gateway to altered states, a symbol of magic, and a potent reminder of the power and mystery contained within the Earth's fungal kingdom. Amanita muscaria is instantly recognizable. Its bright red cap, dotted with white flakes, is a beacon in the forest, beckoning with promises of otherworldly experiences. But this allure is not merely aesthetic. This mushroom's striking appearance is a warning, a signal of the potent chemistry it possesses. Join us as we delve into the fascinating world of Amanita muscaria, exploring its history, its effects, and its enduring hold on our collective consciousness. Amanita muscaria belongs to the Amanita genus, a group known for both its poisonous and edible members. It is classified as a basidiomycete, meaning it produces spores on club-shaped structures called basidia. The mushroom starts its life as a white egg-shaped button, emerging from the ground like a hidden treasure. As it grows, the cap expands, reaching diameters of six to eight inches, though some specimens can grow even larger. The cap's vibrant red color, often fading to orange with age, is its most distinctive feature. Scattered across the cap are white wart-like spots, remnants of the universal veil that encased the young mushroom. These spots can vary in number and size, sometimes washing off after heavy rain. Underneath the cap, you'll find crowded white gills radiating outwards from the stem. The stem itself is white, two to eight inches tall, and often bears a distinctive ring or annulus near the top. This ring is another remnant of the mushroom's early development, marking the point where the cap broke free from its protective veil. The base of the stem is typically bulbous and surrounded by a vulva, a cup-like structure that can be buried in the soil. Amanita muscaria boasts a remarkably wide distribution, found across the temperate and boreal regions of the Northern Hemisphere. It is a mycorrhizal fungus, forming mutually beneficial relationships with the roots of various tree species. This symbiotic partnership allows the mushroom to obtain essential nutrients from the tree, while the tree benefits from increased water and mineral absorption. Look for Amanita muscaria in coniferous forests, particularly those dominated by pine, spruce and fir trees. It also associates with deciduous trees including birch and oak, often appearing in woodlands and along forest edges. The mushroom favours acidic soils and is commonly found in areas with ample moisture. Its distribution extends across North America, Europe and Asia. Interestingly, Amanita muscaria has also been introduced to the Southern Hemisphere, often inadvertently transported with pine seedlings. Today it can be found in parts of South America, Australia and New Zealand, a testament to its adaptability and resilience. The psychoactive effects of Amanita muscaria are attributed to a complex cocktail of compounds, with ibotenic acid, muscimol and muscazone playing key roles. Ibotenic acid acts as a potent neurotoxin, responsible for many of the mushroom's unpleasant side effects. Muscimol, on the other hand, is a psychoactive compound that acts on GABA receptors in the brain. It is responsible for the sedative, hypnotic and hallucinatory effects often associated with Amanita muscaria. Muscazone, a less prominent compound, is also thought to contribute to the mushroom's psychoactive profile. The precise balance of these compounds can vary significantly depending on factors such as the mushroom's age, habitat and preparation methods. This variability contributes to the unpredictable and often contradictory experiences reported by those who have ingested Amanita muscaria. The effects of Amanita muscaria are typically felt within 30 minutes to two hours after ingestion. Users may experience a range of sensations including euphoria, altered perception, hallucinations, muscle twitching, nausea and vomiting. The intensity and duration of these effects are highly variable and depend on the individual, the dosage and the specific mushroom consumed. 
Amanita muscaria has a long and storied history of use in shamanic practices, particularly in Siberia and other parts of northern Eurasia. For centuries, indigenous cultures have revered this mushroom as a sacred tool for connecting with the spirit world, accessing altered states of consciousness and seeking healing and guidance. Shamans, acting as intermediaries between the physical and spiritual realms, would consume Amanita muscaria in carefully controlled rituals. They believed that the mushroom's intoxicating effects allowed them to communicate with spirits, receive visions and gain insight into the mysteries of life and death. The use of Amanita muscaria in shamanic traditions was not limited to Siberia. Evidence suggests that this mushroom played a role in ancient religious practices across Europe and Asia. Folklore and mythology from these regions often feature Amanita muscaria, linking it to themes of magic transformation and the supernatural. Modern mysticism, contemporary uses and preparations. While the use of Amanita muscaria in shamanic contexts continues in some cultures, it has also gained attention in modern times for its psychoactive properties. However, it is crucial to approach this mushroom with extreme caution, as its effects can be unpredictable and potentially dangerous. Some individuals experiment with Amanita muscaria for its purported spiritual and introspective benefits. They may consume it dried, seeking to minimize the unpleasant side effects associated with ibotenic acid. Others prepare the mushroom by boiling it multiple times, discarding the water each time to reduce its toxicity. Some proponents of Amanita muscaria claim that it can induce profound spiritual experiences, enhance creativity and facilitate personal growth. However, it's important to note that these claims are largely anecdotal and lack scientific substantiation. Moreover, the risks associated with Amanita muscaria should not be underestimated. Foraging for the fly agaric location and harvesting. Given the potential dangers associated with Amanita muscaria, foraging for this mushroom is not recommended for the inexperienced. Accurate identification is paramount as misidentifying a mushroom can have severe consequences. If you're considering foraging for Amanita muscaria, it's essential to consult with experienced mushroom hunters and familiarize yourself with local regulations. Amanita muscaria typically fruits from late summer to fall, often appearing in flushes after periods of rain. As mentioned earlier, it favors coniferous and mixed forests, forming mycorrhizal associations with specific tree species. When harvesting Amanita muscaria, it's crucial to collect specimens carefully, avoiding damage to the surrounding environment. Use a sharp knife to cut the mushroom at its base, leaving the mycelium network intact to ensure future growth. Never consume a mushroom unless you are absolutely certain of its identity. When in doubt, err on the side of caution and leave it be. Tread carefully, risks and toxicity. Amanita muscaria is classified as a poisonous mushroom due to the presence of ibotenic acid and other toxins. Ingesting this mushroom can lead to a range of adverse effects from mild gastrointestinal upset to severe neurological disturbances. Symptoms of Amanita muscaria poisoning typically appear within 30 minutes to two hours after ingestion and can include nausea and vomiting, diarrhea, abdominal cramps, excessive salivation and sweating, dizziness and confusion, muscle twitching and tremors, seizures, hallucinations, delirium and loss of coordination. In severe cases, Amanita muscaria poisoning can result in coma or even death. It's crucial to seek immediate medical attention if you suspect you or someone you know has ingested this mushroom. Timely treatment can significantly improve outcomes and potentially save lives. Respect the fungus. A final word on Amanita muscaria. Amanita muscaria, with its iconic appearance and storied past, stands as a testament to the power and mystery of the fungal world. Its use in ancient shamanic rituals highlights the enduring human fascination with altered states of consciousness and the search for meaning beyond the ordinary. While some may be drawn to its allure, it's crucial to remember that Amanita muscaria is a potent and potentially dangerous mushroom. Its effects are unpredictable 
and the risks associated with its consumption should not be taken lightly. Respect for this fungus and its power is paramount. Whether we encounter Amanita muscaria in its natural habitat, marvel at its depiction in art and folklore, or approach it with a sense of cautious curiosity, this mushroom serves as a powerful reminder of the intricate and often humbling relationship between humans and the natural world. Let us admire its beauty, acknowledge its power and tread carefully in its presence.